Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to create a pencil sketch portrait using Python and OpenCV. So this tutorial uh, is something that we're going to do it on Google Colab. So any one of you can simply just replicate whatever I'm doing while you're watching this video. So this tutorial is heavily inspired from this article um, that's called uh, how to create a beautiful pencil sketch effect with OpenCV and Python that has been written by Michael Baylor. So according to this article, so if you want to create a pencil sketch effect for any image, you have to do basically four step. So it's a four step process. You take the uh, color image and then you make that into a grayscale. You take that grayscale image and you make it into a negative. You take the negative image and then apply a Gaussian blur on it. And you take that final image that you got from step three and then you do something called dodging. So that dodging comes from, uh, dodging and burning comes from a uh, old photography technique where uh, someone wanted to actually manipulate the exposure without, uh, um, you know, changing the other uh, parts of the image. So that is where it comes from. So you can read more about uh, these individual steps from this article, but uh, I'm not going to get into the details of this article. So I'm going to simply show you how you can do this thing on your own with OpenCV. So one more caveat is that, uh, so I've linked this article here. You can just click this article uh, and then you can read it. Otherwise, probably it'll be linked just below the like button. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. It means a lot. So the other caveat is that OpenCV2 has a function called I am show, which is not, um, which is not something that you can use on Google Colab which means you have to uh, depend upon another function, which is CV2 underscore I am sure that you have to get from Google Colab patches. So this is just to show the image, uh, nothing else, uh, no other dependency. If you're actually building a web application on top of uh, this, uh, you wouldn't probably need to use that thing because you can simply use OpenCV and then you can do it. But for this particular tutorial, I've done that thing. So that's one thing. The second thing is you have to take an input image. It could be a PNG or it could be a JPEG. So here in this case, I've taken a, a very popular Indian cricketer uh, called Virat Kohli. So it's a, a human portrait, but you can basically do this thing for a human portrait or anything uh, as you wish. So the first step is load the packages. Um, in this case, it's only one package, which is uh, CV2. Second, read the image. Um, so it should be in your current folder. So you have to upload it using this and then uh, or you can directly download it using a WKID. So okay, you, you can even just do WKID and download the image if you want. Uh, but if you do not want, so you can download it on a local machine, upload it to Google Colab so that it is available in the current uh, working directory where you have got these stuff. So read it and then um, show it. I'm, I'm just executing again so that you get, get to see. So this is the final image that we are basically going to build. So uh, I hope it looks uh, natural to you. So, but otherwise, if you if you do not feel uh, like that, so you can actually um, apply the final burning technique also, which we are not doing the final part of this thing. You can also do that and then make it more realistic, which is not covered in this particular tutorial. So as you remember, the first step is read the image, convert it to grayscale. So you are, we are converting into grayscale image and this is how the grayscale image, black and white image looks like. So now you have to invert it. Basically what is inverting um, or uh, if you want the negative image, what is it? So if your pixel value is two, so you're going to say 255 minus two. So it becomes 253. So that's where you are using bitwise not uh, to get the pixel value inverted. So uh, it's basically it's going to give you the negative image. So you can see that you have got a negative image. After you get the negative image, you have to apply a Gaussian blur. So you can see uh, the function help to understand what these parameters are, how you can tune it. So it's basically you're trying to uh, blur the image with the Gaussian kernel. So that's it. So once you have applied a Gaussian blur, so next what you can do is the final touch is you have to take this image, the blurred image, and you have to take the gray image and you have to do the technique that we call as dodging between these two images. And that's where we are doing this um, custom function, which takes two images and then it takes the uh, first image and uh, use the pixel value of the second image, like the inverted one. Uh, and uh, then it's going to use this divide function to do that. So to understand a little bit more about uh, what, how the mathematics goes, there is a there is an extended function that the author has put together in this particular page. Um, which is going to be slow because it's got a lot of loops and ifs and all these things. So instead of that, the, the author has suggested that we should fall back uh, to the, uh, uh, the divide function. So that's what we have also done. So you should probably look at that article for you to get more understanding. But once you do that, 
now let's call the function so you can see that your first um, argument is the the grayscale image and then the second argument is where after you applied blur so once you do that here you 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 have got the you have got the final image so you've got a very beautiful image of uh, virat kohli that almost looks like pencil sketch so you would have probably seen a lot of people using this as a display picture or whatever it is so if you want to impress your friend or if you want to show off your python skills or if you have a if you have a real need to create something like this this is really a good uh, simple project that you can use um, to um, use OpenCV and then create a beautiful pencil sketch portrait. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, we would link this and any other resources that we have shown in this video. If you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section. Until that, see you. Take care. Bye.